I think they're the prototypical program in the MAC on how to build a program, how to sustain a program, and how to keep a level of success going without all the ups and downs that you see 90% of the teams in the league go through. Well, this was actually my first vote, and I voted Ohio to win the East. Uh, it says that they've come miles and miles and miles, uh, which we know they have under Frank Solich. Uh, I was a student at Ohio 14 years ago or so, and football didn't exist. It did, but, but not like this. And the reason I voted them is because of the coaching, because of the stability. You have a ninth-year senior quarterback in Tyler. You have great players at other positions, experienced guys. You know they're going to be ready. They're proven on the big stage. And last year in November, November, I mean, you know, Coach Solich will say no excuses, but we know the injuries were there, three games in 17 days and things like that. So I just think they're due for some better luck, and I think the poise and the leadership, when you look at the schedule, no Toledo and Northern are crossover games. Uh, you get Kent State at home. Uh, I think it sets up well uh, for Ohio to get back to Detroit. Well, I think what I've noted is, is that Frank's been able to come in and uh, sort of bring a, a national prominence uh, you know, to the school, I think, before his arrival. You know, it was still viewed as a smaller school, uh, uh, and I think since he's arrived, he's proven that uh, you know Ohio can compete with the big boys. And I think uh, it's been the consistency of the recruiting effort. You know, every season, regardless of who's been there, they're able to compete against the top uh, programs. Who's ever on their schedule, they're in the game, uh, and he's been able to do it with with you know quality players and quality individuals. And I think now when we say uh, Ohio University, we think of uh, them as being one of the better teams in the Mid-American Conference. And I don't think you could say that to before. I think it's been a combination of a lot of things, but Frank Solich is the big reason why. Uh, I think his ability to uh, uh, recruit, I think his ability to keep things rolling uh, from a, a coaching standpoint. Uh, the wins have come, the interest has been there. Ohio is a football program now, uh, and so I think you add all those factors together, plus this year being on top of the MAC East, uh, I think the reason why, the success from last year, all the parts that are coming back, uh, Ohio I think is the best team of the MAC East, and they were picked to win the MAC East. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite clear folks have expectations about Ohio. You've got players telling us today, no man, Ohio is a big time football school. You say it to fans in Athens with more than 10 years of memory, and that's going to shock them to death. But you know what? It's the truth. This team has performed under Frank Solich. And the best thing with Frank Solich has been stability. You look at the staff. The guys that are with him are the same ones that are with him in 05 and 06. They lose on average one assist in a year, but the core group of guys the state puts. And unlike the rest of the MAC, that's a story in itself. Stability, Ohio means success at all. And I think the very exciting thing, too, is this team can even be better this year than it was last year. If you can stay healthy, you can turn those losses that, that were losses last year into wins this year. I think it could be a very exciting year for Bobcat football on TV and on the radio. Yeah, expectations justified. Seven on TV, but all 14 we hope on the Darn radio. Darn right.